Chiesa che di spata clausa per transito, un delux e sota salus in delito. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus est natus, ex Maria Virgin ne gaudete, 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 Christus est natus, ex Maria Virgin ne gaudete. Ergo nostro cantio salatiam in lustro, benedica domino salus regi nostro. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus est natus, ex Maria Virgin ne gaudete, 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 Christus est natus, ex Maria Virgin ne gaudete. Hello everybody, welcome to our first online assembly. Now we have all the year groups with us from first year the whole way through to upper sixth. Because of the increased numbers, we aren't able to fit in the assembly hall or the drama lecture theatre or the gym or the sports hall. So that's why you're obviously at home yourself. Now, the main point of these assemblies is just for us to give you some notices about things generally to do with school. There's a couple of other things that you will see from the assemblies. Firstly, you'll notice my fairly awful video editing skills. And then secondly, given that all the barbershops are closed, you'll be able to document my gradual transformation into something resembling a caveman. Now, we start all of our assemblies with a prayer. Given that last week was St. Patrick's Day, we're gonna start this assembly with a prayer called St. Patrick's Breastplate, which is attributed to Patrick during his time missioning in Ireland. There's a short video that's about to play so you can just read along um, and pray with the video. Now, there are a few things that we're going to tell you about in this assembly. The first thing we're going to remind you about the OK to Say facility and how you can access that. Second thing we're going to tell you about is an initiative that some of the year groups have already been using in terms of exercise and a bit of a PE class every morning. The third thing is uh, with a little segment called Stuff to Do. And then lastly, we're going to tell you about some things that we're going to look at moving forward. Now, first thing I want to do is show you a very short video about how you can access It's Okay to Say facility on our school website. As you know, it's a facility open to all pupils in school. That You simply log on and you can send a message in to the school about something that maybe is troubling you or something that you need a little bit of help with. The service is only seen by Miss Muskelly. Everyone knows Miss Muskelly always down at the HE department and to somebody who just looks after all of us, that facility is still available for you. Okay, so if you just watch this little video now and you'll be able to see how to access the facility through the school website. So there you go, that's how you can access it. Please use It's Okay to Say if you need to during this period, okay? The school is gonna be there for you to support you in whatever way that we can. Now, the next thing I wanna to bring to your attention is something that some of the year groups have already been using a little bit. Um, there is a YouTube person called Joe Wicks and he has been running daily PE classes every morning um, just to help people uh, stay in shape and get the exercise that they need. So let's take a little look at what's been happening. 
Every single day from Monday to Friday, I'm going to do a live workout called PE with Joe on my YouTube channel, The Body Coach TV. It's a workout specifically designed for kids because when the schools are closed, there is no PE. Don't worry, I've got you. I'm going to take this over. I'm going to get your kids moving, feeling energised, positive, optimistic. So tune in Monday morning, 9am and every day, Monday to Friday. It's a 30 minute session for little kids right up to secondary school. Get involved, have fun. So there you go, 9 o'clock every morning. You've no reason now to stay in bed any later. Now, in each assembly, we're going to give you hopefully some ideas of ways that in addition to your schoolwork, you can occupy yourself and you can spend your time, the extra time that you now have, in a segment that we like to call Stuff To Do. Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Stuff To Do, where we're going to be giving you some hints and tips of things you can do to keep yourself occupied in this period. This is our garden edition and we are live here on location in uh, my garden. Um, so I'm gonna give you just a few different hints on how you can help with the garden and in your house, okay? Now, the first thing you can do is very easy. You can help your parents and cut the grass. So I'm gonna show you, I cut my grass the other day um, and generally it's good, but there are a couple of drawbacks. You will see that the grass is nice and short and neat. But as it was the first time I've cut my grass in about four and a half months, most of the grass has now died. The second problem that I had when it came to me cutting my grass was that my brown bin got full very quickly. So I had to actually stop halfway. So you'll see there's a bit of a patch where the grass is still pretty long. Now, you may like me have some clay equipment in your garden. This comes to my second tip. What I've discovered when I cut my grass is it is probably a good idea for you to every so often move your play equipment about the place. As you'll see, I've got a big patch of dead grass underneath where my slide was sitting. Now, let's move along the garden so I can give you just my final tip for today. You'll see here a very clear idea of when my brown bin got full. So I've got my dead grass, I've got my green grass. Now, let's just move up the garden. The next bit here is probably gonna be quite difficult for you to see. During this time, what a lot of people might wanna do is grow some vegetables. So I wanna show you my, my experience, I suppose, of growing vegetables. A few years ago, I thought it would be a good idea to grow some spring onions. So I don't know if you can see, but I cut a rectangular chunk of grass out of my garden. Um, it didn't really work. Two things happened. Firstly, spring onions just died and didn't grow. And the second thing is I had this rectangular patch in the middle of my garden. So, the two main tips I wanna give you, okay? Yes, cut your grass, it's a good thing to help your parents with, but make sure you've got space in your brown bin. And the second thing is, if you're gonna have a vegetable plot, then make sure you don't do it in the middle of your garden. Okay, tune in next week for some more stuff to do. Tune in next week then and we'll give you some more ideas of things that you can do during this period. Now, when you look at the end of this video, underneath the post, you will see a URL. When you click on that URL, it will take you to a very special Kahoot site and there's a quiz for everybody in the whole school and it's going to be open for the next six hours. All the questions are either linked to subjects in school or life and Rathmore in general. Okay. And when it comes to it, the answer to the special question is crocodile. So what I need you to do once this assembly is over is you click on the link and you have six hours, you have a six hour window to go and complete the Kahoot. You'll put in your username, obviously they're all gonna be filtered. And at the end, we'll have a full scoreboard of everybody in the school and see who our overall winner is. So the special answer is crocodile and you click on the link after this assembly to go and complete the Kahoot. The final thing I want to tell you about is the fact that we are in the early stages of working out how we're going to do our talent show. Obviously the school talent show was due to be next week, but given we're not actually in the school building, we're trying to work out a way that we can do that virtually. So keep, uh, keep an eye out for that. 
Uh, now, sorry, I've kept you a little bit behind. Um, when you get to your next class, you can just tell your teacher that assembly overran. And I will see you all next week.